Hello and welcome once again to my lectures of Study Simple. Uh, today I will show you a very simple trick to run the UI Automator. Those uh, who are doing the testing with uh, mobile applications or mobile apps, this video is will be very much useful for them. The UI Automator is nothing but the to find the elements, uh, to inspect the elements for the mobile applications. We used UI Automator. Today I will show you the step-by-step -step process to run the UI Automator eff effectively in your Mac machine. So first I will show you what is the problem of UI Automator in Mac and how to solve it. So let us first show me the problem of UI Automator. Once you open the terminal, just right there, if your environmental variables are properly set, then right there UI Automator Viewer. Once you click on once you ent put an enter you will able to see that ui automator is uh, ui automator is uh, running but you cannot do any kind of click operations see when i am doing the any kind of click operations it is not working okay so not neither this neither this can be uh, resizable or you cannot you cannot expand this window or neither you can make this window smaller so there is a problem in ui automator okay so how you can fix it so let me close this terminal first so this is the step you need to follow to run the ui automator there are five steps are there so let me show you one by one go to this website this is an eclipse you have to download an hwt package or hwt jar so save it there this has been downloaded just go to the finder extract this file i have already extracted it so i am not extracting it anymore so this is the file let me delete the other files so this is the file okay now let us open this file once you open this file you have a file named hwt.jar so you have to copy this file hwt.jar so copy it from here and paste it anywhere but whenever you paste it, rename it with hwt.2.jar. Okay, just rename hwt2.jar. Okay, there's a specific reason of doing so because where we want to paste this hwt, there there will be an already hwt.jar. So we don't want to replace that. Rather, we want to keep it hwt2.jar so that both the files will be present in that location. Okay. So let me go to the step. So we have completed the downloading process. We have extracted the SWT jar and renamed it to SWT.jar from the downloaded file. Now open this path. Open this path. If your Android Studio is set properly, you can open this path. So copy that. So open this path. It will be under leaf folder. So inside the leaf folder, you can see inside the leaf folder we have x86 and s86 underscore 64. These two folders are there. You have to paste that hwt2.jar into this both the locations. Okay. So just go there and see that you have only hwt2.jar here. Just copy this one and paste it. Okay similarly here also you have to do the same thing copy and paste it so once you've done this thing you can able to launch the ui automator viewer all the elements will be clickable and you can also resize the window so just launch the terminal there right ui automator viewer So you can see that the UI Automator is running and also now see this is all these things are now clickable okay. So if you see that these options are not visible to you just do one thing click on this expand okay. Now go back and shrink it. Now see that all these options are now visible all these uh, buttons have now is working. So this is the trick to run the UI Automator viewer in your Mac machine 
if the UI Automator viewer is not running by default or it is showing that the elements are not clickable, elements cannot be clicked, the size, the buttons are not visible, then this is the trick you can apply and make it work done. Uh, I will post these links and the steps also in my description. If you like my channel, please subscribe and press the bell button. Bye bye.